From the officer to those who alerted him, it's been a rule of thumb since the attacks of September 11th. If you see something, say something. CBS 2's Joe Brown tells us last night it worked. It was minutes from the time that the SUV arrived in Times Square to the time that the police began its full-out investigation. One big reason, several people who knew the area very well saw something out of place. There are always dozens of street vendors selling handbags, t-shirts, and other wares in Times Square. But today, a few of those vendors are being hailed as heroes for noticing the suspicious vehicle in their midst. All the keys were in the ignition. You know, it just, that just didn't seem right. Dwayne Jackson was one of the vendors who noticed the dark green SUV sitting in a no-parking zone. Just a few feet away from his table, engine on, hazards flashing, and went over to take a closer look. There was no one inside. It started smoking, and that's when people started standing back a little bit. But then when the pop-pop came, the whole crowd started going down. Jackson and this man, Lance Horton, flagged down mounted police officer Wayne Radigan, who immediately called for backup and began clearing hundreds of people from the streets. You had a vendor who saw something, thought it was strange, said something to the police officer on his horse. The police officer looked, and then the professionals took over, and that's why nothing happened. Lance Horton says the lesson from last night's events is clear. You see something, say something. There's another man who the vendors called Bullets, who's credited with first noticing the strange vehicle. In Times Square, I'm Joel Brown, CBS 2 News.